Hello, this is HG Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Life Fantasy XIII! I just had a breather, says, but thanks for asking. Now a cutscene. In the middle of this place? Oh, gotta have time for the ladies, I suppose. <laughs> These flowers! You remember them, right? Yeah, Are they Perfia sure flowers? They no. Grew all over no, everywhere. that was another game. Or another couple of we games, actually. We can't be far now. Do they have them in the other Lufia games, like the Game Boy Color and it's the Game Boy Advance ones? Ended up like this, Just curious. What? Well, what do you I mean by that? Everything. Grand Pulse seems to be I in pretty good shape. Rock. I scarred Cocoon, and I left oh. Grand Pulse in this mess. It was me. Yeah, I suppose uh, Vanille probably it wouldn't be capable of that. Everything that happened with our focus, all of it. You're lying. Well, that was fast. Uh, no, it's the truth. It's all my fault. Don't say that! It's all my fault that you're having an artificially created emotional moment! Oh well, we gotta crank out that last idol in there, viewers, so. Super tentacle hentai porn! No, no, just kidding. It's another giant the robot. Knows the truth. Ha, on yeah! Mind. Yeah, they Wait, kind of uh no force this were. one. Admit it, you remember everything. It wasn't. I mean she it should have gotten her idolin like in chapter eight or something, but then you would have had two people getting their idolins at the same time, which you know, that would have been pretty cool, fighting two idolins. You know? That would have been an interesting idea, but I already went through this off screen and now I'm gonna rearrange my setup as I've listed in the video description and I'll be right back. Okay, we're all set and ready to go. One thing that's interesting about this battle, someone was saying, is that this is the only time when you can create certain paradigms because uh, you have two characters who have access to all the job classes. So like before, when we had uh, two character parties, we didn't have access to all of these uh, job classes at the same time. So that's kind of interesting that someone brought that up. But anyway, first things first, uh, you want to Libra the guy and then switch get all the debuffs on him, because that'll boost the Gestalt meter, and then switch to Ravsen while this guy's wailing on Fang there. I also like to have uh, Fang learn Ravager before this point, because boosting the chain gauge can also help against this guy. So let's just do uh, one more round there. There we go. And then have Fang go in there with, uh, with Ravager there. I actually would not recommend uh, learning the elemental strikes for her, because that'll uh, cause her to move towards an enemy, and she'll be more prone to uh, taking damage from physical attacks as a Ravager. And, well, there's some particularly large enemies that I'd be worried about that with. If I need to, I can use uh, Med Rav, but I'm hoping I can chain the guy fast enough to do this. Come on. Yes! Got him! Okay, just press square, and you uh, enter Gestalt. There we go! So, his tentacles become, what, machine guns? Hot women and machine guns. It's a pretty hard combination to beat there. I still like Keystis with the machine gun the best. But, that's just me. But, yeah, now she finally gets her, uh, fifth. ATB gauge. So I like how they have different ways of getting ATB bars throughout the game. You know, there's one where we became able to see, then the Idolin, and the one you learn. There's a, a sixth one that we can get later. You already knew. You knew Ragnarok was the name of destruction. Um. Uh, oh, yeah, well, we, we saw the, the parade the horrible earlier. stuff. And I didn't have to do anything. That is no reason to lie to me. I want to do some of the horrible you stuff, too. You think that's what I want? Come on, Fang. <sighs> you of all people. <gasps> oh, come on. Hit her. Hit her. Hit her. Come on. Can't fight. Can't fight. Can't fight. Come on. Oh, oh Poor man. kid. What a You've cat had fight. it rough. Fang. I'm... <laughs> Listen, you're not alone anymore. Just like Zidane. I'm so sorry. 
for keep that up and you'll what? have me crying soon. I'm an emotional lady. We have a new family now. We stick together. You hear me? Family of monsters. Well, okay, so now everyone has their idolin. So, yeah, um, everyone only gets one throughout the game, just so you know. And, you know, I'm okay with that because, you know, otherwise, you know, they'd actually have to be useful and. They're not, really. Not that much. I mean, I, they have their uses, but not too much. So, okay, well, now we're back to this party, so I'll just return back to my old setup and be right back. All right, let's go. Let's do this. Yeah, they just kind of put this area here, this hole. This is a hole, right? Yeah, this hole in the area just to get the Eidolon. And, business? Well, yep, now we're back to business. So let's move along through uh, the long, narrow hallways again. Not too much left to this area, though. Oh, look, more of those guys, and they're fighting each other, too. Well, that ought to be easy. Ah, uh, let's see. I want to use... Yeah, we'll use Triple Ravager for this one. You know what they should have done? They should have had a new Eidolon for every chapter, like chapters 5 through 10 or something like that. That would have been kind of interesting. Um, who are we going to target first? Yeah, we kind of have to take out those little bombs first. Alright, for defeating those guys, what do we get here? Ooh, an ice charm. Not that I'm ever going to use it. The only elements that I really ever care about uh, blocking are mostly lightning, earth, and uh, maybe fire sometimes. But I don't even use the, uh, what was it, the uh, accessories to help with that. Still, in general, I prefer to uh, just almost never sell my accessories, except for like those platinum bangles or anything that like can sell for a lot of gold. Because you never know if you'll not be able to pick it up again later or something like that, or if it's not viable or whatever. So I just hold on to everything. But then again, it could just be because I recently played Final Fantasy IX. And, well, you want to hold on to everything in that game. Sorry about that. I needed to take a pause break there. I actually had a an important call. I would have left it in, like, uh, shut up, I don't want to give you- Oh, wait, this is a serious phone call. Or something like that, but, well, I, I wasn't prepared for that. So. Oh. But, anyway, uh, there's another one of those, uh, juggernauts up there, so. Sure, let's take it on. Why not? I'm gonna do it off screen, of course, but, uh, I like how I can use all of my paradigms for the battle, though. That's kind of fun. I like that. Is it really worth fighting him here? No, not really. But it's fun. You know, I get to use all the job classes, except Sentinel. I wish I could use that. Um, nah, I've only got 20,000 CP. That's, nah, I can't do anything with that nowadays. No. Inflation and all, you know. So, uh, yeah, let's switch to that. All right. So, oh, you know what? Oh, there's a treasure up there. Yeah, let's go. I was going to say, let's move on. But no, no, I want to get all the treasure up what do you mean it's not a pretty sight? I like watching robots creating other robots. Sounds a little perverse, actually, but nah, nah. Death to all Rubik's Cubes and all the frustration they bring. Yeah, I'll be honest, good viewers, I cannot solve a Rubik's Cube. Yeah, I know, that's a real shock. I wonder if those guys will merge together like the other guys we met up with earlier. If I let them sit around long enough. Huh. Not that I want to find out. No way. Ooh, perfect conductors. Those are pretty good. The uh, particle accelerator that we got a little earlier there, that's really good for uh, upgrading your equipment. But, uh, nah, I w I, well, I'm going to save that for later. Um, yeah, we're good. I like how in that battle I get the preemptive strike, and then Saz casts Thundaga, and he's like, Say goodbye! Get ready for a surprise! Well, if I have time... Let's see if I can fit this one in this episode. Yeah, I didn't get the, I didn't want to show it yesterday because I wanted to keep the episode to uh, well, 15 minutes. So let's take take this guy out. Uh, he's pretty much the same as all the other ones that we fought. Uh, he can summon more of those hoplites if you uh, kill them. So obviously you have to kill the big guy first, which is normally what I don't want to do. But well, you got to take him out. So let's get him. I think he's like buffing up the other guys. Or Something like 
that. But anyway, once you've got him staggered, go to Comrade Rab, launch him into the air, and then the rest of the battle is pretty easy. Don't worry about all the buffs these guys have, just keep on going all out. I suppose I could use Dispelga if I really wanted to. Uh, Dispelga is a new uh, technique that we got right there. You could use it if you want. It removes all buffs and debuffs on everyone. All enemies, all allies, everyone. So it can be useful in some situations, but I usually don't like using it. And launching that, uh, what was that guy earlier? Launching that uh, juggernaut in the air, you know, that's pretty impressive for a tiny sword you got there, lightning. Not quite as impressive as suplexing a train, but still pretty impressive. Or suplex, or however you pronounce that word. I'll be honest with you viewers, English was not my strong subject. So, yeah, I know that's real shocking to you. But anyway, okay, I think that's all of them. Yeah, yeah, we got the destination marker up there, so you know what that means. It's cutscene time! <laughs> yeah, we're getting real close, Saz. Now, now, this is the Lufia part of the game. Huh? Let's see what's going on. Where are you going, Hope? Don't no touch it, through. Hope. Man, that foul huh. must have been slacking. <laughs> I like how Snow's Wait. just pumping his fist there. Stop already! Ugh, the vile peaks all over again. You got that, viewers, for those of you who forgot the first half of the game? Get out of there! You hear that sound, Hope? That is the sound of inevitability. Come on, kill him, kill him, kill him! Aw, man. Nah, nah, I'm is he trying kidding. to stop it? You can do it! Uh, I don't think they uh, care for your you uh, encouragement. Oh, they're robots. I don't think they ever explain why these guys are helping us out. They're kind of there, slowing the guy down. Ooh, well that was cool. Go robot guys. Good lesson for us. Well, uh, not even a mighty foul sea is a match for the power I of team. I guess. <laughs> I, I don't know why they were helping us out, but save the sermons, old man. Let's hop on Trailblazer here while we still have the chance. All right, let's go. Apparently, this, well, you haven't seen it, but he has like some hollow core or something to him. I don't know. But uh, yeah, you go down here, and now we can just hop on board, I guess. So, hey, hey come on. There we go. Let's board him. Come on. Yeah, Atomos. That's his name. So, yeah, I, I kind of like how they. Uh, do that with all the foul sea, you know, they make them references to the Eidolons from previous games, or summons, or whatever, depending on which game you're playing. I don't care for the name Aeons for them, or Eons, or whatever they use, so, oh well. By the way, uh, once you get to the next area, you can actually get back on Atomos there, and he'll take you to another secret area back in the Mahabara, but, well, I'm... Not gonna do that. He, I'm not gonna do that right now. We're now we're in the uh, Solia Springs, which I'll be going through next time. And let's play Final Fantasy 13. This is H.C. Bailey signing off. Have a good day.